You're watching Chewing the Cud with Zoe Clegg and Mike Bennion Rowe. So that was when I said to her, Potato, I hardly know her. Oh, hiya, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. <laughs> you watted her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to it another time. What have you got for us today, Mike? Well, today I've got news about something worse than deja vu, and then I've got something worse than deja vu. We even have a game that you can play along with too. But on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge the lot on YouTube. Look for Chewing the Cud. I've got something about deja vu. You can see the names of people who've reached out on social media going along the bottom of the screen. But now we go over to Zoe and the showbiz. <laughs> So, oh, Mike, are you, a, are you a Strictly Come Dancing fan? Is it a show that you watch regular? Strictly Come Dancing or Strictly Come Dancing? Are they two different shows? Yeah, cause, so Strictly Come Dancing is only letting Seaman do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the popular show. Of, of people dancing around. Celebrities to, and professionals. To, to, to remixed versions of songs you may or may not know. Yeah, sung by people who are doing okay. an okay job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lots of people leaning back and... <laughs> Lots of... Yeah. So apparently, mm -hmm. in the news this week, uh, Strictly is looking to return to uh, traditional roots uh, and is getting rid of same-sex couples. F*** off. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Why? Well, have they said why? The, I, I think it's just a return to being more traditional. I think they're upset because they keep winning everything. I, I can believe that. <laughs> Beautiful young, young gentleman there. Aren't they gorgeous? With too many clothes on. Um, <laughs> I don't mind being that dirty old man. But it's uh, going back to traditional values always rings alarm bells with me. Yeah, because let's face it, the traditional That's... values go out of date for a reason. Uh -huh. They stop being needed or relevant. Mm -hmm. But it's what politicians use. So Margaret Thatcher used traditional values. Mm. Putin uses traditional values. And they're two great people, right? Donald Trump uses traditional family value. It's not... It rings alarm bells for me. Yeah, I don't like it either. No. It, it just it doesn't feel very progressive. I feel like a big step forward was taken. Okay. And this is this is a, a step back. This is Absolutely. people dancing. This is not... They're not getting the kit off and having... It's just people dancing. There's just no need for it. I completely agree with you. The BBC's lost the f lot. I think this is going to upset quite a lot of people i don't know if it's going to turn everybody off to watching it because there are there's still folk out there who are like why do you need to have two men dancing why can't it just be a man you know because they're sad <laughs> it was adam and eve not adam and steve <laughs> how do you know we there <laughs> some of them are looking yeah yeah. Um, yeah some of them are that like, prehistoric <laughs> aren't they okay cool um well not cool because the bbc are making a massive step back yeah bit of a step back in time but yeah but Strictly, you, ha you have a fun fact about Strictly. I do have a fun fact about Strictly. So the, this was something that the person themselves confirmed as well. So the intro to Strictly Come Dancing where there is somebody playing the guitar. And there is a fella goes, hey, in the middle uh -huh. of that. Yeah, yeah. That was Matt Berry that was playing the guitar and is the one who shouted, hey. Oh. Which I think is a very, very fun fact. I have no idea the... I know the source of that specifically was Matt Berry himself telling that. Uh, I saw a clip of that on Instagram, I believe. He was in a Zoom call with about 20 other people <laughs> and literally caught that bit. Um, and for those people that don't know who Matt Berry is? Uh, he's, he's the main character in Toast of London. Okay. Uh, and he was also in... I forgot the name of the show now. This is genuinely... IT different. Crowd. Oh, crud, yeah, he was in the IT Crowd, wasn't he? Uh, the one I was thinking of is from, he's from What We Do in the Shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays a vampire within that and is incredibly funny. Yeah. Go look up any of those shows. They're great. But watch this first. Um, yeah. yeah. Or watch your screen in screen. I don't mind. <laughs> um, my favourite thing about him is when he did the Volvic adverts. I with Mr. Volcano. I had no idea that that was yeah. Matt Berry. It's like, hello, Mr. Uh, sorry. Hello, Mr. Volcano. Hello, Tyrannosaurus Alan. <laughs> It's, oh, it's brilliant. Now it's I know amazing. that it only enriches my joy oh, of Matt Berry for yeah, yeah. <laughs> what brilliant. a glorious human. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't love it? Oh, sorry, I think the studio is saying something. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you, Paul Star. 
Press the f***ing button. Press... The, never mind. <laughs> the intern. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In completely unrelated news, uh -huh. are you a gamer at all? I am a gamer. As in Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo? I know what an Xbox is. <laughs> oh, no, there's a game console called an Xbox. The games console. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. not the one you're uh, thinking. No, no, no. Okay. No, absolutely not that one. <laughs> it's like someone's been looking at my OnlyFans. <laughs> Only fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was singular. Yeah, yeah it was singular. <laughs> um, I, I am aware of that games exist. I am not one that particularly goes, mm, yeah. Mm. My, my gameplay um, sort of like peaked at Command & Conquer Red Alert. Okay, so... Old. A little while ago. Yeah, one after Pac-Man. There is a new Sonic movie coming out soon. Okay. Uh, Sonic as in Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and not, the just, not just the fact it's got sound in it. Yeah, it's not <laughs> just <laughs> noise. Uh, and some corners of the internet have gone absolutely insane drawing uh, saucy fan art of Sonic and Knuckles. Okay. Which I believe is this fella here. He doesn't always look like that. I don't actually think that's... Uh, Knuckles at all, I think that's Shadow. Yeah, I was going to say Knuckles was a squirrel. <laughs> Wasn't he? No, that was Tails, who had Tails, big it? tail. Looked a bit okay. more like a squirrel. Knuckles was the red one. Oh, okay. Um, isn't the internet just a strange and wonderful place? So <laughs> why, why do we have two hedgehogs that are cartoons kissing? I mean... Just because we can. We're aware of Rule 34, aren't we? Rule 34 of the internet. Which is? Which is, if something exists, there is part of it somewhere. Okay. Uh, this this clearly appeals to a particular niche of folk. I said, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> where, 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 where are we going? <laughs> no, it's it's fine. You said if if it exists, there's part of it somewhere. Mm. Berlin so we're searching Wall up. collapse. Don't doubt it. Oh, yes, and that is David Hasselhoff, I believe. Huh? Anyway. Um, <laughs> So yes, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's one that's one for the therapist. Um, so yeah, th so people have just gone. There's a new movie out. Let's make porn. There is a particular niche of the internet that uh -huh. seems to be very, very into uh, Sonic as a sexual being. Don't get it at all. Well, there he, is a he is shocking going amount of it. Running around trying to get as many rings as possible. He's I, a ring I, collector. I identify. <laughs> um, so yeah. There is, uh, so something I looked up because I was like, what is, what is this? Why, why does this exist? Why? why? Only, oh, my question is why. Uh, there is a fan fiction archive called AO3. Okay. Uh, and that currently has 4,580 works that ship, which is, you know, where you pair up two characters from a show mm -hmm. or some sort of media that aren't actually together, uh, that ship Sonic and Shadow, where there are 24,395 Sonic stories overall. So it's maybe not as much of a niche as I was giving it credit for. I think there's actually a shockingly large number of people. Or one person with a very, very big appetite. One person who is insatiable for that hedgehog. Yes, someone's, someone's got a very big arm. <laughs> Just one. Just one big arm. Just one. Uh, Joe Locke of Heartstopper. Uh-huh. Uh, Who's adorable. Has been so on cute. the... <laughs> he has got a very adorable face. You kind of just want to take him home and feed him jam. Is that, is that, <laughs> jam? He's just very... <laughs> Do we not watch That's Friends? so specific. I watch Friends. <laughs> um, I just want to take him up, just like, give him something nice to eat and just like, put a jam and a spoon. There you are. Aw. Bless him. Uh, well, he's, come, he's been on uh, the Heartstopper podcast uh -huh. uh, and has thrown shade at RuPaul for not having them on Drag Race as a guest judge yet. They feel quite upset So they at this should. Fact. But also be thankful because RuPaul will leech the youth out of his skin by his <laughs> That's how RuPaul's still alive. That is the only way they still look like that and is still alive, absolutely. That and a healthy amount of Vaseline on the lens. Um, <laughs> I said it. Um, Whoa. We've all seen that season one filter. <laughs> but the TV was foggy, right? Because um, that's how RuPaul stays young. Leeches the, the youth out of other people <laughs> as they sit next to them on RuPaul's So actually, fragments. it's probably for Joe Locke's benefit yeah, yeah. that uh, he's not been asked to... Michelle Visage is now basically Mumra. <laughs> How is she still hosting on the radio? Is that all that's left of her now? Is a voice box? Just a voice box, yeah. <laughs> voice box and boobs. Um, <laughs> boobs. Even well, they were anyway, were they? <laughs> <laughs> Born and paid for. <laughs> so, she, so he's upset because he's not on the panel. Yes, he's not been judging. asked yet. 
Uh, and that's upset him greatly. Maybe she thinks he's too young to be on it. Maybe. Because he's, he's not... Because Heartstopper is not a show I've seen. Have you not and seen Heartstopper? I've not listened to the podcast either. It's this okay. is this is all I know I know who RuPaul is, I know of Drag Race, I understand what Joe Locke is referring to. Okay. So um Heartstopper is it's basically some teenage lives. So they start off in like the year nine, no not year nine, it's year twelves. Mm-hmm. So they've done the GCSEs and going into college. So it's that part of youth. Okay. And they're experiencing their sexuality and stuff. And it's a very sweet... Got it. Coming of age. Coming of age story, but it's done very well and very, very sweet, sweetly. Ah, so they've okay. got some trans characters in there that find love and there's no, like, real victimisation and bullying. It's a bit of bullying in there, but it's dealt with by the friends saying, no, back off. Oh, it's, amazing. It's really heartwarming and, and warm and fluffy and it makes you cry a lot. Oh, definitely uh, can't be having Joe Locke on Drag Race then because RuPaul will feast off of that even more exactly. than anything else. Exactly. <laughs> Suck him dry. And that's all from the showbiz this week. Well, thanks for that, Zoe. Always nice to know that RuPaul is staying alive somehow. (laughs) You're welcome. Stick around as next it's Mike with the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Zoe and Mike. And now we go into the deeper parts of the internet as it's Mike and the buzz. How do you feel about zoos? I love a trip to the zoo. What's your favourite trip to the zoo entail? So, like, favourite animals? I like the elephants. Okay. I think they're really cool. They're cool. What I like about elephants is the fact they have feet that are soft. Are they soft? You don't know about this? No. So when you watch an elephant walk, as they stand on their feet, they swell up. They've got soft feet. Oh, I don't think I've ever clocked it. I'm not usually... Looking at the feet, but oh, pervert! <laughs> <laughs> Says the one looking at elephants' feet all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, as, as they walk, you'll you'll watch them as they, they put them down. They they expand. Oh, that's so, so sweet. So they've always got a stable footing. Yeah, so they don't sink. I suppose they don't sink on. Well, it's not even the sink. It's it's the fact that if they're then stood on a twig and something, they, they their foot goes around the twig, so they don't fall over and die. Oh, that's yeah. very sweet. It is very cute. Um, but talking about animals in the zoo, we're going to move mm. from the the large to the slightly smaller. The small. Not, not small, we're not going gecko, we're going to penguin. Okay, we like penguins. We like a penguin. We like penguins. Have you heard about Steve the penguin in Sydney Zoo? I don't think I have. The gay penguins. I have. The, the, yes. So Steve I didn't know partner. him by name, that's yeah. all. Uh, who adopted a, an egg and had a chick. They did, yeah. Yeah, and the chick went off to live. Okay. Oh. Now, Steve's partner, mm. the penguin, has sadly died. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Um... Steve was, um, sorry, Stephen. Oh, I'm Steve. I don't know him that well. <laughs> yeah, angry with me. You know his first name. I just do Mr. Gay Penguin. <laughs> yeah. Um, was once his partner died, mm. right? Started to sing, which is where they start to just basically bird call. Oh. Right? And was so loud that all the other penguins in the enclosure joined in. Oh, mm-hmm. that's absolutely precious. As they were heartbroken over the, the death of their couple. Oh, because I, I feel like I know that penguins mate for life and mm-hmm. they do the cute little pebble sort of ritual thing, which is very, yep. very cute. What an adorable moment of them all coming together. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just mourning and just all singing and going. Oh, that was so sad. It's is so it a sad. nice sound or is it? Because, I mean, but some bird calls can be a bit, <laughs> a bit wobbly and a bit... A bit screechy. A bit screechy, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, it's definitely penguins in pain. Oh. Is the phrase I'm going to use. Um, so it's not like happy feet. They don't start singing. Like... Yeah, they don't start singing Boogie Wonderland <laughs> exactly, and yeah. tap dancing. <laughs> what not... a strange way to mourn. Quite... <laughs> also quite fun. <laughs> For, yeah. yeah. Uh, one, Putting one the fun into a funeral. Of, uh, yeah. Put a tap dance routine in. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, but they do all start singing in unison. Oh. Um, so yeah, I know it was. Quite beautiful. That's that, sad but beautiful. Sad but beautiful at the same time. That, that a penguin community can come together and support the death of a, a, a couple. Have you ever experienced deja vu? I have. It's have most peculiar when it happens because you're like, I've been here before, I've done this before, but I haven't. This is all new. Okay. Um, and when was the last time you experienced deja vu? Uh, can't, put a fin- can't put my finger on it explicitly, but okay. Okay. not that distant. Okay. And when was the last time you experienced deja vu? Um... I mean, I can't put my finger on it explicitly, but probably in the in the not-too-distant past. Oh, OK, cool. Um, so this is something that's actually worse than deja vu. 
Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and this is Jamais Vu. Jamais Vu. Jamais Vu, because it's French, so I have to do it in a French accent. It's like, <laughs> thing you have to do it <laughs> surrender um <laughs> white flag oh, <laughs> um, and this is basically when something that's been it feels you've done something before mm -hmm. but it suddenly feels abnormal or strange Ooh. okay okay it most often happens when you're talking or using a word a lot Oh, so when you repeat the same word. When you say the word moist, 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 and you start to lose the meaning of the word moist. It just moist. doesn't mean anything doesn't, anymore. Like, you, can't, you don't feel like you're pronouncing it properly. Uh, yes. you, your mouth, or you're writing it down a lot. Yeah, when you look at the spelling of a word and you're like, that fully doesn't look right. Exactly. But spell check is not kicking off or anything, exactly. so you, you know it's it right. It is spelt right, and it's like, that's jamais vu. Ooh. Right? Um, it causes more upset for people than deja vu. Yeah, I can see why. Okay. I can because see why. deja vu, you don't always recognise happening. No, because like deja vu could pass you by and you can go, you know, I swear I've done that. Exactly. It's very quick, very brief. But jamais vu can last for minutes at a time. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Because exactly. the frustration of, no, I know I'm spelling... The, or when you spell, you like, for example, you think you're spelling a word right mm -hmm. and something like your spell checker is kicking off saying that's not how you spell it, but you're absolutely convinced, no, that is how you spell it. Mm -hmm. Or you use the word potato a lot. <laughs> potato is one that got me a long time ago. Really? Yeah. I was talking about <clears throat> potatoes. Mm. And about this particular kind of potato. Mm. And then by the time I said potato like four or five times within a few sentences, the word potato just stopped feeling right. Stopped meaning anything. Like, potato. Potato. Mm. Potato. 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 And it just, yeah. And so potato sticks in my head. Every time I see a potato, I, I think of that. And you think of that I get, exactly. I get Jean Mavu again because I'm like, am I now saying it right? Yeah. Was I ever saying it right? Um, are people just going along with me and smiling and nodding like they do with so many things? <laughs> But yeah, um, and if you've ever experienced deja vu, why not share that with us? We are at the Could TV on social media. And if you've ever experienced deja vu, why not share that with us? We are at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, that brings us nicely to our story. Of that. We're doing it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's recurring. Do you like to shop online? I do like a bit of online shopping. How Easy, about convenient, simple. We nice. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> convenient, simple. Nice. Nice. Um, what about these direct from the manufacturers kind of shops? They're mainly from China. Oh, uh, less so. Less so? Less so. I think the apps are... Um, they remind me of like gambling sites because mm -hmm. there's so much... There's so much like, going on. There's, offer, you... spend now, get 25% off, and then you're looking at it going, how can you afford to... Off Sell me yeah, yeah. 50, gr 50 quid's worth of stuff for 18p. Mm -hmm. How are you managing to do that? Yeah, it's because direct from the manufacturer, so you're not having to pay middlemen and potentially slave labour. Um. Which, which <laughs> nobody likes. I think we can all safely say nobody likes that. Um, well, we know a friend of the show, Mist, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely adores Wish and Timu. Oh, yeah. Right? They say that they don't, but we've all seen the labels on their clothes, like... <laughs> It's like, that says Timu on it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And we'll actually be in the comments right now going, I don't shop at effing Timu and Wish. <laughs> right? But this story is for him. Okay. What's because going on on recently, Timu? recently, um, a woman ordered a croissant light, right? Which was a table light lamp in the shape in of a croissant. In the shape of a croissant. Okay, right? I'm with you. Loves a pastry. She was devastated when it turned up covered in ants. Oh, Ants. Ants. Right, because someone had put an actual light inside a real croissant. They had not. They had. Oh my god! So they just put. <laughs> someone like, had shoved a light bulb into a pastry. Into a pastry. Put it in a box and shipped it. <laughs> Unreal. Why is she eating it? To prove that it's real. I mm, <laughs> that is a suspect pastry. I would it's that would not be going pastry. anywhere near my my mouth at yeah. all. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she she was just confused because when she got home and there was ants crawling into her packages, she's like, "Yeah, that's sure, a Timu that's... package. Why's 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 that happening? Yeah, there's nothing perishable or edible in there. What's going on?" Yeah, um, opened it up. I, 
basically shoot Anches away and went, it's all over my lamp. And I went, this feels crumbly. This doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a fake plastic croissant. Uh, no, which and is what it. you would expect. And it was actually a croissant. Um, How what, much did she pay for it? I don't have that information. Because oh. <laughs> I got too into what actually happened to a croissant. <laughs> so the real croissant had been dipped in some sort of preservative. Yes, this does look very so, it, so she shiny. wasn't sure whether it was varnished or resined. Yeah, it looks like an attempt at resining has happened yeah. and it's... Uh, Not <laughs> but it was done obviously after the light had been inserted because the, the actual pastry itself was damaged. So the, oh my put god! The this is wild. <laughs> it's wild. brilliant. Because I mean, you could be in bed, half asleep, a bit peckish. Turn the light on. on the ah, <laughs> a delicious smell of warm butter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Coming from your bedside. Who doesn't love a warm croissant in the morning? <laughs> this woman. <laughs> so it, it's just. I just thought it was a brilliant way of, of using leftover baked goods to create an art. It's, uh, could you put that in a museum? Would the Tate accept that? Probably. If you <laughs> Probably. said it was art. You say, if you say something's Tate art Tate modern, enough. definitely. <laughs> Um, oh, absolutely. The modern, the modern's, I think, probably been in touch. Actually, they'd, they'd, they'd be turned around and go, maybe do a poo on it and we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, let's spray paint it gold yeah. and then do a poo on it. Yeah. Then we'll say, have it. Say it was made with vaginal yeast and then we'll definitely buy it. <laughs> um, but talking of vaginal yeast, that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks, Mike. I now cannot get over the thought of a light bulb shoved into a croissant and how horrible that would feel against your teeth if you bit into it. Well... <laughs> you think that's weird? Stick around, because coming up next, we've got a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back, and yes, you're watching Chewing the Cud. We're going to play a little game, and this one is for the man who once bought fetish wear from Pride, thinking it was weightlifting gear. It's Mike! That was missed. <laughs> we'll find out. Game of the Week. In a game of riddles, we twist and we turn. With questions so tricky, your pee will burn. But laughter and fun, you solve the clues. In this riddle game, it's me versus yous. Are you ready, Zoe? I'm ready when you are, Mike. Okay, wonderful. Um, David's father has three sons. Snap, crackle, and what? Poppers. <laughs> I thought I wasn't sure whether you were answering or making a demand. <laughs> Just spin the cupboard to your left if you're making a demand. Um, <laughs> with the Freddos. <laughs> the Freddo cupboard. Yeah, Freddos <laughs> and Poppers. So yes, what, what's father's sons are Snap, Crackle and... David. No, Pop. Pop? Snap, Crackle and Pop. But I thought it was David's. Um, it was actually David, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought I'd lost my mind then. <laughs> well, not then. A um, <laughs> while ago. Okay. So, a, an interesting, full, thoughtful question now. Mm. Okay. Um, what is more useful when it's broken? Don't be rude. <laughs> what is more useful when it's broken? You will. <laughs> you will. It's more youthful when it's... <laughs> yeah. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Are you youthful or useful? Huh? Useful. You useful. Useful. More able to be used. What is more when useful broken. when it's broken? An egg? It's actually a hind... No, actually, yeah, an egg. An egg? An egg. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, hold on you. <laughs> I wasn't actually sure that I was right. <laughs> I was going out on a limb there. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, the next one. I'm easy to lift, but hard to swallow. I'm easy to lift, but hard to throw. What am I? Easy to lift, but hard to throw. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't got a clue. <laughs> Think about something that's easy to lift, but hard to throw. Easy to lift, but hard to throw. It's easy. Oh, this is terribly embarrassing. Uh-huh. <laughs> easy to lift. Because you were so smug about the last one. I was particularly smug about the last one. Easy to lift, hard to throw. Uh, 
Um, pillows. <laughs> I, I get the idea. A feather. <laughs> a feather? Feather. Easy to lift hard to... Oh, yes, it is quite hard to throw a feather. It mm. is. It's not going to go real far, is Unless it? I should put it into a ball and then lob it. And um, <laughs> I should put it inside something else. Like yeah. a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> or a pillow. Or a pillow. Pillows are quite easy to throw. That would make it much easier to throw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where would you take a sick boat? A sick boat? Boat. 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 B O A T. Sick boat. Bobbing a leg. A boat hospital. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> a doctor. Oh. Are these even riddles? Are these just. That's Any jokes a, that's now? A really bad dad joke. To that's be there. just a dad joke, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the next one's a dad joke too, so I'll move on. <laughs> okay. A cowboy rode into town on Friday. He stayed for three nights and rode out on Friday. How is that possible? Friday was the name of his horse. No, Friday was the name of the Indian man that he'd renamed um, Friday because of white colonialism. <laughs> yes. Wow! Yeah. Wow, we got real aware then. We got really very much aware of, of, <laughs> of, of um, the Lone Ranger. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, correct. Friday was the name of the horse. Friday was the name of the horse. Yeah. I was going to say Friday was the name of his boyfriend, but... You can also ride in on... They can be both. They're not mutually exclusive. Stuff can be two things, but it is probably a little bit illegal, right? Mm, frowned upon, I believe. Um, what goes up but never comes down? Well, I know what I want to say. What do you want to say? My husband's <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Someone just got very shy in the studio. Only in the... <laughs> Only on a Saturday at like nine minutes past ten, though. Good recall. <laughs> yes. I watched the show. A couple of weeks ago, that I watched, this week. I watched the show. I remember. <laughs> I, I've been doing my best since that episode to have sex at any other time than a Saturday evening. <laughs> just to be obtuse. Just to, just to f with the figures. And, and with, f with the figures. And with as many fellas as I can. <laughs> what goes up but doesn't come down? Uh, warm air? <laughs> Warm air? <laughs> a, a, a twink on ecstasy. No, um, <laughs> age. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> the, dri the driving force that is time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a cart of 12 eggs. Okay. 12 people each take an egg. Okay. But there is one left in the carton. How? Twelve people each take an egg. An egg. But there is one left in the carton. Mm-hmm. How? Did one person put one back? No. Nope. They all walked away with the egg. They all walked away with the egg. Every person walked away with an egg, but there was one left in the carton. Did someone leave their egg in the carton? <laughs> And then carry the carton away? Yes, the last person took the egg in the carton. Oh. But you didn't press the buzzer, oh. so it doesn't count. <laughs> but it doesn't count. You've, you've guessed no. without buzzing. <laughs> All right, Simon Cowell. <laughs> okay. Damn it. <laughs> what is full of holes but still holds water? I feel attacked. <laughs> This list of riddles. <laughs> it's, it's not, it doesn't hold any water. Yeah. <laughs> What's full of holes but still holds water? Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Mop bucket? All the holes are in the top? One hole. There's several holes in the top of a mop bucket. Oh, you mean for the strain of it? Yeah, he, the, the ring, the ringy stringy bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, a sponge is the answer I was looking for. A sponge. Yeah. Sponge. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you spell cow in thirteen letters? And it's not M O O O O O O O O. That would be two letters. 
I suppose. Mm -hmm. How do you spell cow in 13 letters? Yeah. You're just thinking of long words for cow now. <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. Have someone over here counting on their fingers. Yeah, it was also, the, yeah, this was me <laughs> going. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm genuinely stumped by that one. S E E E. Oh, S E E. S E E E E. S E E. Well, it says what? C. Okay. The letter O. And D O U B L E Y O U. Oh. What does that say? The letters spell out the word. No. The noises. C, C O double double U. U. That's cheeky. That is like cheeky. That. that is cheeky. I'm uh -huh. having that. You're having that. <laughs> I'm well, stealing ho that. <laughs> hopefully, the person that you ask presses the buzzer. Um, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's too late to buzz in now. It's too late. Too late. <laughs> we'll have one last, last one. One last one. If two is a company and three is a crowd, what are four and five? Parties. Nine. Nine? As in you add four and five yeah. together and you get nine? Yeah. <laughs> if two is company, three is a crowd, what are four and five? What are four and five? <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> nine. Four and five is nine. Was that, is this you giving me the answer? Yes. The number <laughs> nine. Four and five is nine. Yes. Yeah. I can add that up. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around because up next we're going to get all arts in Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we see what Mike has designed for us in Crafty Queens. This hat smells. Of? Missed. Mmm. <laughs> but mostly disappointment. Do you like to read books, Zoe? I like reading books, I do. Good. What's your favourite kind of book? Uh, <laughs> strange. Like a strange book. A strange book? I do like a strange book. Like Mein Kampf. <laughs> Not that strange. Okay. No. Right. I um, like the strange. So, because when you want to save your place, what do you use to save your place in the book? Are you a bender of ears? Oh, God, no. That's a crime. I have a, I have a nicely embroidered bookmark. Okay. Well, now you're going to have to. How exciting. Okay, because we're going to ha create a page saver. Okay. Not a bookmark, a page not saver. Not a bookmark. We're not going to mark the book, we're going to save the page. I love that. The first thing we're going to do is create the body of the page saver. Okay. Now, do you read a big book or a small book or in between? Uh. I like all books. All books. Okay, so you need to make sure your page saver is of a decent length. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is get a piece of card. Okay. I have a piece of card. And I want you to, to cut out a long strip. A long strip. Card. Okay. Now, you've got good scissors. I, however, do not. I've got the good scissors. Oh, okay. Got the good scissors. That was... That's an I interesting have. development. Yeah, I, I do not have the good scissors. Mine are short and stubby and don't go all the way in. They were fell a lot at once. If you like. <laughs> um, okay. So, when you have a strip of decent girth and length. And That's the way we like it. Oh, that was a quick crafty creams, wasn't it? Yeah. That was <laughs> and you could just stick that in a book. But that wouldn't be very exciting. That just won't do, will it? So what we're going to do is we're going to, the bottom, we're going to round off the ends. Hmm. Okay. So, we're going to round off the end. Okay. Because you don't want a jaggedy edge. Oh, heavens no. Okay. And then once you've done that, you want to take your scissors and cut down to the tip. Right. Okay. So we're cutting down like this. Like this? 
like this. It's all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So about half, uh halfway down your length. Okay. Because that's where you're going to put the page. I see. Okay. So your page is going to go down the slit. It is. Unfortunate. Yeah. Doors look okay, in the slit. If you do it that way round. Which is why we're not doing it that way round, because that would be rude. Yes, we would have to censor that. Oh, we wouldn't want to have to censor that. Um, but what, by that way, by doing it this way, this is not rude, you see? Yeah, no, that's uh, this is a akin to the wrong trousers a la Wallace and Gromit. Exactly, yeah. Um, so once you, so that's where, when you get your book, you're going to put the page in there. Okay. Okay, and that's going to basically say, this is where the page is. Yes. Okay. This is dull as shit. Yeah, no, so not fabulous enough. So this pretty. So you have there some glue and some um, accoutrement. I do indeed. Um, some va va Okay. What I'm going to say is try not to um, glitter or glamify where the slit is. Yes. Or lower, because that's going to go in pages and you don't want to bulk that up. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. Can't be done to me pages now. But you don't want you don't want lots of weight around the tip. Okay. It's known to throw you off balance. It can throw sure. you off. So, but lots and lots of weight at the top. Yeah, or the display area. Okay. So just get okay. gluing and sticking. Gorgeous. Go as creative as you, or as dull as you'd like. Be careful of the hot glue gun, because the hot glue gun contains hot glue. Hot glue? Yeah. That's the last thing I expected it to contain, you know? Well, we did ask for them to be filled with semen, but the gallery said no. Oh, boo the gallery, everyone. Yeah. This is why nobody likes them. Um, so what I'm currently doing is pressing foil things on, which conduct heat very well. <laughs> Do watch those fingies. Yes, my fingies are burning. I have decided... I have decided to googly eye the top of mine okay. and therefore humanise it. Okay. So now I'm going to feel bad whenever I shut its legs in my book. Okay, so what you've done there is created your own little bit of trauma. Go, create a little, little book trauma friend. There we go, because who doesn't love trauma when they're reading? I know I do. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just gluing shit onto it, hoping for the best. Actually, if you've ever watched Crafty Queens, it's pretty much what I always do. Kind of the modus operandi, I feel like, of this... <laughs> Ooh, Latin. ...of this segment. Oh, yeah, I know a little bit. I know a little bit. I know modus operandi. Vidi, vidi, vidi. Vidi, vidi, vidi. Yeah. I came, I came, I came. As a Saturday night. Saturday weekend, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. um, do you do lots of crafts when you're on your own or with the husband? Um... I do do a little bit of craft. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fibre crafter mostly, so I, I, I knit, I crochet. Or oh, a fibre? Fibre. Like, is that the one where you get pain in your body? Fibromyalgia, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fibromyalgia, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's, it's very similar to that. It's more similar to carpal tunnel. <laughs> um, what if it gets you through your day? <laughs> um, carpal tunnel. Isn't that the one where Diana died? Um, no, that was the next one over. No, too soon, too soon. <laughs> that was the people's princess, how dare you? Technically all the royal family are the people's princesses and princes and things, because, yeah. Because <laughs> they, they are the princes and princesses of people. Yeah. Because she was a commoner, daughter of a lord. Anyway. Um, she was our She was our princess. Are you much of a crafter at home? No. No. I, I, I despise crafting in all ways, shapes and forms. <laughs> Exclusively it be an here. Art that doesn't exist. I mean, don't mince your reasons. words. Tell us how you really feel. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Choices have been made. Um, Indeed. So on one side and I just need to do the other as well. Are you doing the back as well? You need to do both sides. Because it's going at the top of a book. Let's stick out. You don't want just one flat end. No, that's true. That would be most boring, wouldn't it? Exactly. And, and I, I'm getting disbelieving looks from the visitor in the corner um, because I just pour the glue on and see what happens. Um, <laughs> hot glued. Hot glued myself there. <laughs> Oh dear, what did you hot glue yourself? I did, I hot glued myself to my bookmark, friend, okay. <laughs> creature. <laughs> you glued yourself to yourself. I did. This is uh, progress so far. 
So far, I've almost finished. Not done yet. I've, I've started. Okay. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Do you know, we've actually not gone super duper dissimilar. <laughs> well, we both have the same, like, Amazing what you can come up with when you've got exactly the same get, get, gear. Get, gear. You've got gear? I wonder you're happy. <laughs> Apparently, mine looks like the Cookie Monster. It's more like Drag Elmo, to be fair. That's hot glue. <laughs> That's just hot glue. I'm just rhinestoning. I felt like that was an appropriate course of action. Oh, sorry, we made Paul. 20 minutes too late. <laughs> um, I, I decided I wanted a bit more of a, a feather up there. There we go. Cool. I think I'm quite happy with... Uh, yeah, you're, you're happy with your creation? My little friendo. Okay, I thought you could give us a belly button. <laughs> but yeah, and then all you do is you just pop that ebook page in there. And then you'll always remember where you're up to. I'll always know exactly where I am. Yeah. With a little bookmark, friend. Exactly. One step away from the sanitarium. And remember, if you can't get any pee, any vagina or anything in between, you can always be a crafty queen. So, yeah, is that going to help you with your, your, your reading moments? I'm sure that will... Bring me endless joy <laughs> outside of my book. <laughs> Most of the books aren't books. I'm just going to take this hat off because it smells funny and it's hot. Um, so if you grab a book from, from behind you, you can pass me one too. There you go. Oh, how to Hold Animals. How to Hold Animals. That's lovely. The Manual of the Warrior of Light. Oh, oh okay. You're not supposed to hold them by the groin. Um, so say I'm here learning how to hold a uh, Okawana stag beetle. Uh, save that page for later. Big lad. Mm. <laughs> I can just pop this over the pages like so. You know, you're never going to forget where you're up to, are you? No. You're absolutely never going to. That's never going to fall out accidentally. Right. ASMR people pay thousands for that. Pay up, you bastards. <laughs> pay me the money. Right. I, I thought, I think that's quite a nice little success. I think that's been very, very successful. Yeah. That's depressing for all of us, really. Um, but that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to look out for our social media at The Could TV on all your usual places. And if you want to catch up with us on previous episodes, have a look on YouTube for Chewing The Cud. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, aren't you polite? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired.